Hi everyone welcome to back the channel auto rush the the Suhoi Su-30, a twin engine, supermaneuverable multirole fighter aircraft, has long stood as one of the pillars of Russian air superiority. As we step into 2025, the Su-30 has not only maintained its relevance but has evolved into a more formidable machine, thanks to significant upgrades, modernization programs, and evolving strategic doctrines. Developed initially in the 1990s as a derivative of the Su-27, the Su-30 was designed to fulfill long-range air superiority missions while also performing ground attack and maritime strike roles. Over the years, it gave rise to several variants tailored for both the Russian Aerospace Forces and international customers. But in 2025, the focus is clearly on enhancing the aircraft's survivability, lethality, and integration within Russia's evolving fifth-generation and sixth-generation warfare strategy. The most prominent development in 2025 is the Su-30 SM-2, a significantly upgraded version now forming the backbone of the multirole fleet within Russia's VKS. The SM-2 program is the result of years of lessons learned from real-world conflicts, especially the operational experiences in Syria and Ukraine. Combat data has driven modifications not only in avionics and weapons systems but also in electronic warfare capabilities, engine performance, and sensor fusion. One of the most critical improvements is the replacement of the older AL-31FP engines with the more powerful AL-41F1S engines, the same used on the Su-35. These engines deliver increased thrust and better fuel efficiency, allowing the Su-30 SM-2 to operate at longer ranges and with heavier payloads. With these engines, the aircraft's thrust-to-weight ratio has improved, enhancing its dogfighting ability and overall agility. But raw power isn't everything. The avionics suite on the 2025 Su-30 SM-2 has been significantly upgraded. The aircraft now features a more modern radar system, likely a derivative of the N035 Urbis EPESA radar, which can detect targets at much longer distances, over 400 kilometers in ideal conditions. This radar upgrade dramatically improves the Su-30's ability to engage multiple airborne targets simultaneously and engage threats at beyond visual range with high precision. In addition to radar improvements, the Su-30 SM-2 now benefits from a modernized glass cockpit, digital fly-by-wire controls, and better integration with Russian satellite and ground-based networks. The introduction of open architecture systems enables quicker software updates and easier integration of new weapons and electronic systems. The Su-30's mission has also been broadened. In 2025, it's not just a multirole aircraft, it serves as an airborne command node, a missile truck, and a high-end strike fighter. This evolution is part of Russia's move toward network-centric warfare, where platforms are no longer isolated fighters but nodes in a digitally connected battlefield. The Su-30 SM-2 is now fully integrated with Russian AWACS systems, ground forces, and naval units, making it a central asset in joint operations. Speaking of weapons, the 2025 version of the Su-30 carries an expanded range of armaments. In addition to traditional R-73 and R-77 air-to-air missiles, the Su-30 SM-2 now deploys the R-37M, a long-range hypersonic missile capable of striking targets over 300 kilometers away. Designed initially for the MiG-31, the R-37M's integration into the Su-30 provides a significant boost to its long-range strike capabilities. For air-to-ground missions, the Su-30 now supports the use of KH-38M and KH-59 Mk-2 precision-guided missiles, as well as the new Grom series of guided bombs. The Su-30 SM-2 can also carry the KH-31 PD anti-radiation missile for seed missions, targeting enemy air defense systems with precision. It's also been equipped with upgraded targeting pods that use high-resolution infrared and laser-guided technology to improve accuracy in all weather, day-night conditions. Another area where the Su-30 has improved is survivability. In 2025, the aircraft incorporates a fully upgraded electronic warfare suite. Known as the Kibani u this system uses a mix of active and passive countermeasures to jam enemy radar, decoy incoming missiles, and protect the aircraft from detection. The inclusion of digital RF memory jammers allows it to adapt in real time to evolving radar threats. Coupled with low observable paint and improved infrared suppressors, the Su-30 is now significantly harder to target. A noteworthy aspect of the Su-30's modernization is its capability to operate alongside the fifth-generation Su-57 Felon. The Su-30 is now fitted with secure data links that allow it to share target information with Su-57s, drones like the S-70 Okotnik, and even ground-based command centers. 
In coordinated missions, the Su-30 can act as a sensor node or provide standoff missile coverage while the stealthier Su-57 performs deep striker penetration missions. 2025 has also seen the beginning of deeper integration of AI-based systems within the Su-30. While not autonomous, the Su-30 SM-2 now uses onboard processors to assist pilots in prioritizing threats.